All right, adventurous day, Memorial Day Monday. Got out kind of late. I was gonna go to a clear, deep lake to play with front-facing sonar, do some dialing, maybe test that new powerhouse lithium 16-volt battery. There was too much of a heave on the ramp. Almost ripped the spare tire off the Camus trailer. So now we're just picked a new lake. Never been here. Uh, it's a bit of a greaser lake. There's a lot of like slime and slop. And the water's pretty green. And so we got about four hours to fish. And I guess the new day, the new challenge now is just see if I can put together a decent five fish limit in four hours on a new lake. On more late Monday when it's probably going to be busy, sunny, things are going on. So we'll see if we can unlock something. Probably going to be power fishing. Maybe some frogging, some flipping. Let's see what we find. We just pulled out two flipping rods and a frog rod. That's how we're gonna get started. Notice there's like some cattail reed things right behind me. They're not completely matted out where a lot of the other stuff I'm seeing so far is pretty cheesed out, matted out. So uh, we're gonna start here. Last two days, I'm flipping this Missile Baits Chunky D. And with any kind of luck, we'll be restocking at Amya for tomorrow. Nice little morsel on the back of that Bass Tech jig. Spot one yielded nothing. So uh, keep moving, looking, pecking, hunting. Between the dogwood and the slime, we gotta go find a new area. It's just too tough to fish over here. Well, the camera hasn't been rolling because I've been burning through batteries, not catching any fish, but slinging a frog around in this slime and I got this little 13 incher. I think I missed one other bite on a frog, had a General ripped in half, but uh, it's been pretty tough. This lake has been uh, serving me up a little bit of humble pie after some pretty good days of fishing so far. But we're gonna keep going. Well, this water looks pretty greasy and not good, but uh, this guy's a little better. You didn't mind that booyah pad crasher. Close to three pounds. So bad. So here's a fun story. Was just starting to get a few bites on a frog and my phone starts blowing up with text alerts of frog alerts. My wallet, short story, ran back to the ramp. My wallet was taken from my truck. So I got no wallet, no cash, no nothing. Hopefully there's enough gas in the truck, but that ruined some pretty good afternoon efficient. So bummer, thanks for the, uh, the dirt bags decided that they needed my wallet more than me and tried to run up a bunch of chargers and the Fairbowl Walmart on all my credit cards. But I think I had them all stopped. Now we're gonna see if we can go out and maybe catch a few fish and worry about all that stuff tomorrow. Swimming by a dock, came out and grabbed it. Little chunker, little post wallet being gone blues. Thanks buddy, needed that. Hey. 
Not a giant, but it was a good cast and a nice eat back there. Skipping that frog way back in there. That's number five. Not a giant. We got one good one and three pretty small ones. But a uh, whole bunch of bluegills on this inside weed line. I just threw my frog right down the edge of it, first cast, and uh, clobbered it. They're eating it. We just need to find some bigger ones with a little bit of time we got left since uh, our friends cut into our fishing time and we had to talk to the nice, fine gentleman from the Rice County Sheriff's Department. Thank you for coming out. Uh, hopefully uh, you find my wallet, but probably not. pounder almost we got one jig bite the rest of it on frogs and this one definitely is a big upgrade return him to the slime got one more Frog pattern coming together. Even with our shortened time, we figured something out. Time to return to where we were catching them before we started getting all the fraud notifications on my phone. See if they're still biting here. on that one. Let's see, he'll come up and eat it. Get in my hood and he just... This little guy snuck it down. Sneaky snucker. <laughs> well, the frog ended up being the deal today. But they weren't in the mats. They were definitely on the edges. So, and I needed a little bit of non, it seemed like less moss was better. There's just some moss everywhere this time of year on this lake. But a little bit cleaner water, bluegills present, and getting on edges, either like inside weed edges or those reed edges. Um, but they weren't in the mats, they were on the edges. So I think they were a combination of fry guarding and bluegill raiding, nest raiding. And uh, that's how we got, I don't know, a decent bag. We probably had. 12 pounds today, but for a short outing, cut short by uh, our not so close friends at the boat ramp. And then uh, frogging, use the mostly the uh, Booyah Pad Crasher, which is probably one of the best frogs for the money. I'll put a link down in the description of that. 
and my uh, Dobbins Champion 735 frogging rod was snatching them. If you like frogging videos and you want to see a whole lot more frogging, check this video on the screen out right here.